What is it with you? Why are you coming down on me like a ton of bricks? I think I made myself perfectly clear just now. Not to me, you didn't. Oh, well, there you go. There you have it. Have... <laughs> have what? I mean, I went out and bought a motorcycle, and I took a ride. I mean, it felt great. Big deal. I mean, it's not like I'm leaving you and Coop to join Hell's Angels. Well, maybe you should. Perhaps that's the new you. Where... Where's... Oh, this has got to be one of those hormonal moods. Don't! Oh. Don't! I am not the problem. I know what I want. I know what I feel. It's you. You haven't got a clue. And I've been seeing this for days now. I realize you don't know what you want. And I can't be your anchor because you're not you anymore. I'm really sorry. I can't... <laughs> it's not your fault. We're in. It's me. It's me. I want you to have more than just these flashes of memory. And when you don't, I'm so disappointed. I just have you know, more time. But would you please be honest with me? The only reason that you're here with me and Coop is because of this baby that I'm carrying, isn't it? No. It's uh, sort of. I, no, no. I just the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby grounds me. It gives me. Roots, but that's not the same as being cornered. If you say so. I thought you knew that. I, I thought me being here made you happy. It does. And I, it, uh, in some ways. Yeah, but in other ways, it doesn't. Yeah, you know, it's good to have the. It, it's very good to have a father for this baby. It's very important. But you know, it's, it's just not enough. It's not enough. Uh, tell me what it is you want. Tell me what you want me to do. I. That's just it. You cannot give me something that isn't in you to give me. <laughs> I'm, you lost me. I made such a mistake when I didn't tell you that I was pregnant carrying Coop. But I managed. I raised that child without you, and I will raise this one without you if things are not right. What things? Circumstances, our situation, whatever you want to call it. I don't even, didn't even know we had this situation. See, that's just it. I'm so frightened. Would I you don't stop know talking in circles and just let me flat out with connect anymore. What about the baby? It's not about the baby. It's you and me. I need you to love and want me. To look at me as a woman. Oh. Oh, and if you can't do that, baby or no baby, we don't belong together. Airs, then it will remind people about all the horrible mistakes that I have made and nothing is going to be able to fix it. Annie, you've got to calm down. Dinah, come on, you got to help me out on this. Listen, I, I am. I'm doing everything that I can, okay? I put out calls to every station owner in the area and I warned them about Talbert. You think he's shopping the tape around? I don't know. I don't know. But if he is, this will stop him in his, chat, in his tracks. Listen to me. Annie. Relax and give me some credit, okay? Because I am usually pretty good at getting what I want. Yeah, I know that, but if I seem a little stressed out, Dinah, it's because this is very important to me. I realize that, and you have not even given me a chance to tell you the messages that I left on his machine. I offered him the anchor slot, the co-anchor slot on the 6 o'clock news. He did? Do you think he'll take the bait? Yeah, I think that he will, because he's very, very ambitious. Really? Okay, that might work. That might actually work. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot for doing that. You're welcome. Listen, I told you that I'd come through for you, right? Yeah. Just relax. <laughs> Sorry, I yell at you. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, you know, it's funny. We never really connected like this before until now. Mm, no, well, you know, we've never really needed each other before now. Well, whatever the reason, it's nice that we're becoming good friends. Yeah. I'm really glad. I, I don't really have very many people that I can confide in, so... What about Marcus? Can I take a coat? Yeah. What about Marcus Williams? I thought you guys went way back. Uh, yeah, but, you know, he's all caught up with his girlfriend, and, uh, you know, he wouldn't understand this. I really think that this is a woman thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> so, um, hey, how are you and Hart? How are you guys doing? We're, we're doing good. Well, no thanks to Blake, but that's another story. Never mind. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're doing pretty good, except when it comes to, huh, guess who? Cassie. Cassie. I thought she was out of the picture. Yeah, but she keeps popping back in. Well, you know what? We're just going to have to devise a plan to crop her out. 
Thoughts of Hot Jessa be gone. No more weak knees. No more flushed cheeks. Save my sister from this heartbreak. All right, stop acting like a big sister. No, I can't do that. You see, I used to poke my nose into Rusty and Roxy's business for years. I'm just giving you my maximum Budinsky powers to make up for lost time. I so appreciate all the love behind what you're doing, but you can stop now. And see you get hurt? I can't do that. We've got to find a way to get heart out of your system. It's not like I want to like him. I don't even think we have a future together. You're crazy nuts about the guy. Okay, okay. I am crazy about him. What's wrong with me? You're just suffering from an ancient family flaw. A what? It's a genetic disorder. We all suffer from it. We have these intense feelings of longing and rosy visions of a happy life with someone incredible. And thinking those thoughts are easily managed with ice cream and cold showers, but when you actually act upon them, that's when you get into trouble. So you're telling me not to do something that you did with Josh? Well, that was different. How? Because uh, Josh and I were together before. We had a life together. We had two children together. Uh-huh. Cassie, I'm serious, really. I mean, I have been in love with Joshua since I, I knew what love was. He's not just the man in my life. He is my life. You might have a crush on Hart. But do you really think you love him? Because if you do, then forget everything I just said to you. Hello, ladies. Am I interrupting something? Sort of. No, not really. Look, it's not going to be a big deal. Beth is going to drop Lizzie off at the door, and she's going to go. It's not like you got to offer her cookies and coffee. And oh, whatever. darn. Because at Thanksgiving, my cookies were such a big hit with Beth. Don't start. I'm not starting. I'm not starting. Because your ex-wife is going to be here all the way through New Year's. I can handle that. Just as long as I don't sing or bake or, God forbid, do Lizzie's hair, I'll be just fine. And I was actually worried. Sorry. I'm sorry. If you're here with me, I know I can be calm. Well, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere, okay? okay? Now, what in the world have we got here? This is my Christmas tree from when I was a little girl. Isn't it sweet? I hope Lizzie loves it as much as I do. That is so cute. Cute. Have I told you today that I think you're incredible? No. Incredible? I think you're incredible. Well, you're amazing. Funny. Beautiful. Sexy! I forgot. How <laughs> did you forget sexy? No, no, no. It goes without saying. Forget it. What? Here, take that and put that there. They're here. They're here. Can we cover it up? This looks great on you. Very yeah. funny. Cover that. And, okay. Lizzie! Hi! Hi, Beth. Come on in. Thanks. Here's my little sugar plum. Hi, sweetie. How's my best girl? Fine. Fine. Oh. Harley, your place is sweet. You've done wonders with such a small space. Yeah, well, it has to double as my office, so there's not a lot of room for extras. But Philip and I have been really working on making it cozy. Go ahead. What's under the sheet? <laughs> it's a surprise for you. Ooh, can I see? Yes. But you have to come over here because I want everybody to see. Okay. Big presentation. Ta-da! Here, and look at this. This is the best part. <laughs> that is a riot. Where did you ever find it? 